Hey, welcome everyone. All right, CXC past paper 2022. We're going to continue. All right. Now let's go ahead and share screen so we can get it. All right. Let's see if we can grab another. So we did part one, we did part two. That's what, four marks. Yeah. And now we're going to go to part three. Let's see if we can grab this guy. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about ratios today. Uh, this is the workings from the part one, right? To get the reduced cost uh, for the bananas. And then see if we can work out ratios today. Now, they give me a ratio. They said the ratio of the number of bananas to the number of oranges is two to three, right? So you know, let's kind of do some housekeeping, though. I think there's a lot of times uh, students are caught off guard in how to use ratios and stuff like that. So let's kind of talk through it, all right? Now, when it comes on to ratios, I can have the ratios of the number of boys in my class to the number of girls in my class, all right? And it could be a ratio like a three to five ratio or something of that sort. And what that truly means is that every three boys then will be accompanied by five girls, all right? That's kind of, it, it's in a nutshell, okay? So, Let's take, let's take it from a simple uh, ratio, one to three. So it means that if I have a boy in my class, then there's going to be three girls. So for each boy, there's going to be three girls in my class, okay? So what do you think happens when I go to two now? Well, I would have two boys. And so if you're thinking, oh, you, you went from one to two, you added one, this, when it comes on to ratios, I want you guys to understand you never think add and subtract. You will always be thinking about multiply or divide, right? So in, in essence, me multiplying by two gets me to two. What I do to one side of the ratio, I would have to do to another, the next side of the ratio. So three times two gives me six, all right. So when you do, when you multiply one side of the ratio, you have to make sure to balance it on the other side of the ratio. All right. And it makes sense here. Each boy will be accompanied by three girls. So boy number one, he had three girls there. Boy number two, he will have three girls here. Right. And that gives me a total of six girls and two boys. All right. So when you think about ratios, that's how I want you guys to interpret it. All right. Now let's go to this example. It's the ratio of, and there's always going to, when it comes on to ratios, everyone, there's always going to be the ratio of something to something, all right? So we got bananas. Yes, my penmanship is not too good. You guys understand, I hope. <laughs> to oranges, right? So two to three ratio. So for every two bananas, there's going to be three oranges, right? And so once again, what you do to one side of the ratio, you have to do to the other. Now let's keep on going. Now they said that there are 24 more oranges. Uh, furthermore, there are 24 more oranges than bananas. We need to find a number of bananas that she bought. Mm. So this one's kind of a, one of those where it's gonna be a couple steps, right? So we have to kind of understand what's happening. Now with ratios, the key thing about why you, what you do to one side, you do to another, and the reason why you can't add it, um, is let's kind of talk about that, all right? I'm going to kind of go back to boys and girls. I'm just going to say boys and girls. All right. And so suppose I said it was a one to three ratio. And then suppose you uh, did an add one here and an add one here. Then it's two to four, right? Now, what happens here is that you have essentially changed the ratio. Let's see why, okay? Now, the ratio is saying, well, there's one boy is accompanied by three girls, right? So if I was supposed to talk about what's the probability that I got a boy if I was supposed to pull one person out of the room, right? There's only one boy and there's four people in the room. So it's a one to four, right? So you can see that this is the fraction of boys to total, right? Girls to total would be three out of four. Now, when I go here to this, which is wrong, right? You're going to notice this is now what? If I was supposed to pull a boy out of the room, it would be there's the likelihood of getting two, two boys could, could, could get pulled out of six. 
And you're going to notice that when I reduce this fraction, if I divide the top by two and I divide the bottom by two, I get one third. So if you notice here, this fraction has changed from one fourth to one third. And that's what happens when you add and subtract. You're essentially ruining the ratio, right? And changing the ratio. I can do the same thing for girls. You're going to see four out of six. I can divide the top by two, gives me two. Divide the bottom by two, gives me three. And I get a two third ratio. Yeah, or do two third fraction, right? Now let's see what happens if you do truly do the right thing. If I multiply this side by two and I multiply this side by two, one times two gives me two, three times two gives me six. Now let's check the fraction. There's two boys, but there's eight people in the room. Eight people comes from there's two plus six gives me eight, right? If I reduce the top by two, I get one. I reduce the bottom by two, I get four. If you notice, the fraction remains consistent, okay? Same thing here, six out of eight, divide by two is three, divide by two is four, that gives me three out of four. So what you do to one side of the ratio, make sure to do to the other. Second, always think about multiplying or dividing. So you gotta you know, multiply this, the, the left by some number or uh, divide the left by some number. You have to make sure to do it on the right also, all right? So that's very key to ratios is that you have to keep it um, consistent. Yeah, so let's go back to our example. Uh, and let's see if we can apply it here. Now I'm gonna have oranges, oranges. And they said, no, well, let's look at how they said it. They said number of bananas. So that's the first thing that has to happen or first thing that we'll have to write, bananas to oranges. So you have to pay attention to the order in which how they set up the ratio, right? So it's a two, to three ratio, okay? Two represents bananas, three represents oranges. So if you had a basket, you're gonna have two bananas and you're gonna have three oranges, kind of like that, all right? Now, uh, they said that there's 24 more oranges. So now if I called the number of oranges, there's 24 more oranges than bananas, 24 more oranges than bananas. So there's more oranges than bananas, right? So if I call the number of bananas in uh, that she purchased or bought, right? A, a particular letter, I'm gonna call it X. What do you think is going to happen to the number of oranges? It's gonna be X plus 24. Could I said 24 more oranges. So this is 24 more. So if X was, if there was 10 bananas, then there's going to be 34 oranges, right? There's 24 more, okay? All right, so let's kind of see how we're gonna work this. Now, remember what I, I mentioned to you guys before. So when it comes on to the ratio, the fraction should never change. So if I was gonna get the fraction for bananas, what would it be? Two out of the total, which is what? Five, that would be bananas, yeah? So this has to remain consistent no matter what. So when I come down here to this, this new ratio that I set up, I'm gonna put the number of bananas, which is X over the total, which would be X, that's bananas, plus this guy's oranges. So this is oranges, this is bananas. So I'm gonna add X plus 24. And remember, this ratio here, this fraction here, should be equal to two out of five because remember, it should not be changing, all right? So let's kind of take some steps here and kind of put in the, the middle guy here. So this is bananas, this is all bananas here. So I hope that makes sense. So if you notice, the fraction should never change. So let's take advantage of that now. That should mean if it should never change, that means that they should be equal, yeah? So it should be that two-fifth is equal to x over x plus x plus 24, all right? Now, once you have this set up, it's just now we're gonna solve for x. So two out of five, I notice that there's two like terms at the bottom. There's x, there's one x plus another x. So I'm going to combine them if you have one of something and you have another of, of that same thing, you're gonna have two of that thing. So two X plus 24. Now, when I'm right here now, I'm gonna erase some stuff now just so that I can have a little bit more space. So two fifth equals to X over two X plus 24. Now, when you're solving something like this, 
right? If you notice, it looks like a fraction is equal to a fraction. So we can do something as cross multiply. We can cross multiply. This bottom part is going to be multiplied with the top part. So you notice how I'm going to write it here. And then this bottom part is going to be multiplied with that part. The arrows are going to tell you where, the, where everything should end up. So this should end up on the left. That's why it's on the left. The five should end up on the right. That's why it's on the right. Okay. This, remember, when they're married together, that means they're multiplying. So it's doing exactly what I expect it to do. Yeah. Now, we're going to expand our brackets. First, this two times this guy. So positive times positive is a positive. Two times two is four. So we're going to have four X. Then we're going to go again. This guy times this guy. Positive times a positive is positive. Two times 24 is going to be 48 equals to 5x. Now we're solving for x. I see an x on the left side and I see an x on the right side. I need to kind of find a way so they're both together. Now this guy, he's adding. So to get rid of him, I'm going to subtract 4x on this left side to get rid of him. All right? And I'm going to be left with 48. Oh, what did I not do? What you do on one side of the equal sign, make sure you do to the other side of the equal sign. Okay? So you have five of something and you're going to subtract four of that same thing. It's just like having five apples and you're subtracting four apples. You will just be left with one apple, right? So just think of the X as apple. That's all it is. So you have five X minus four of those same X. You're just going to have one of that X, right? Now in math, I hope you guys can rem remember this. We don't like to write that one in front of the variable. So one X is the same thing as X. One Y is the same thing as Y. We don't like to write it, okay? So then X is equal to 48, yeah? Now we have to kind of go back to what we said X was. What did X represent? It was bananas on this side, bananas. And three, this was oranges. And then we set up that, because they said that there are 24 more oranges than bananas. So we said, well, you know what? Let the number of bananas be X. And then if we said 24 more, then that means that it's gonna be X plus 24. So we just solved X represents bananas. And that's what they asked for, calculate the number of bananas. So the number of bananas should have been 48. And if X is, is 48, so I'm gonna replace it here then this guy would be 48. So 48 plus 24, which is 48 and 72, all right? But this is what they're solving for. You're solving for the number of bananas. So you don't even have to do that extra step, all right? So I hope that makes sense to everybody uh, as it pertains to ratios. So for ratios, make sure you're thinking multiply and divide. Secondly, the most important part of ratios though, it's the fraction should always remain consistent. That is what we took advantage of here to link them together. So the two out of the five should be equal to, if you put, as I said, this new setup that we had, x to x plus 24. And you notice we did the same thing like what we did uh, earlier, all right? And then we had to solve for x and then they would pay attention to what they were asking for. They, should, they said number of bananas. So I knew that X represented bananas, and then that's how I knew it was 48, okay? They could have asked you similar, they could have easily asked you for the number of oranges here, and then you would have to figure it out as the 48 plus the 24, which is the 72. That's the number of oranges, all right? Okay, hope that helps. We will continue. Later. <laughs>